this phrase that you used, carving nature at its joints, that's, that's a typical realist formulation and, and, and uh, metaphysical realists or strong realists anyway would, uh, at least in most cases, use formulations like, like that and, and, and that is, uh, at least for, for many pragmatists, that would be something too strongly realistic. Uh, on the other hand, it's, uh, it, it would be anti-realistic to, to claim that there is nothing, nothing out there, uh, nothing uh, independent of, uh, of our conceptual uh, categorizations. So, uh, so the, the pragmatist challenge is to find some kind of a mediating position between this, this view according to which uh, the, the, the categories of nature, so to say, are, are in a way nature's own, not imposed by us, and again the other extreme according to which it's simply and merely up to us to, to impose a conceptual categorization. So, uh, so what we do need to acknowledge is that there, there are constraints. Uh, we can't just categorize the world in any manner whatsoever. There is resistance from the world, so to say. Uh, but, but still to, 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 uh, to categorize it in any specific way is, is, is always a human conceptual achievement. And, and, and both, uh, both the human, human element and, and uh, the, the non-human constraint are, are to be taken into account here. It's of course, this is, this is a very large issue and it's, it's extremely difficult to, to, to simply, simply address it in, in a few sentences, but, but this again would be the way to, to begin the discussion.